What's up guys, how you doing? Welcome to Poor Man Mods. Today I'm not going to be doing a modification to the Super, I'm not going to be wrenching on it today, but I'm going to show you a feature that it now has that maybe some of you might find interesting, or maybe it'll help you with your build in the future, and uh, maybe it'll have you go a certain route with your build, or, or not. So, this is a 1988 Supra, so it's OBD1, it does have the diagnostic port on the engine. It's got a 1J Xena, I believe it's like a 92 or a 95. But either way, it's still OBD1. It has the diagnostic port on the engine, and if you have a check engine light, you have to like use a paper clip or something and bridge the connectors and it'll flash on the dash. My check engine light doesn't actually work, and I'm sure there are codes, or there at least were codes with this car at some point, and I had no idea what was going on. I tried numerous times to rewire the check engine light on this, and I just couldn't get it to work at all. So, who knows how many codes I had at one point. But now, this car is OBD2. Like I said, it's an 88, and OBD2, for the most part, I think 99% of vehicles, it's 1996 and newer. There might be a couple 95s that have it, but for the most part, 1996 and newer is OBD2. And what OBD2 is, onboard diagnostic, too. And pretty much every car ever made that was worth a damn came with an OBD2 port that you could plug in and see what the codes were. You know, you could monitor engine data, check check engine lights, clear codes, all that good stuff. You got you guys know what's going on. You know, you can go to Advanced Auto and get it checked and whatnot. Now my Supra has that. So there's two products I'm gonna show you in this video that I think are pretty cool. Um and maybe this will either help you out with your build or maybe you'll just find it interesting. But now because this car has the Haltec Elite 2000 ECU, it's OBD2, <laughs> which is freaking awesome. So when I was down at Haltec, they wired in to the ECU um, a little connector coming off the engine harness that was like an accessory plug. Um, they didn't need to do that. There's also a port on the front of the ECU where you can plug something in. And when I was down there, for 30 bucks, I picked up their OBD2 cable. So this cable right here will plug either into the engine harness where they terminated a connection, or it can plug in front of the, the ECU itself and give me an OBD2 port. And it works just like your typical OBD2 vehicle. I can recheck engine codes. If there's a code going on, I can look it up with a scan tool. Um, I can monitor engine data. I can use any scan tool with it. The little cheapo $30 ones, the super high-end scan tools, this car is now OBD2. So that is freaking awesome. Now, honestly, I'm not too concerned about check engine light codes. I mean, I, that that is very helpful, but that's not why I wanted this. Um, I wanted this to be OBD2, and the reason I bought this connection from them is for monitoring data and having gauges. So with this little guy, this Bluetooth OBD2 adapter, which I'll have a link to this down below, and of course I'll have links to all the Haltech goodies. Um, this does. I plug this into the cable, if I can get it right, and now I can use my phone and connect to this and pull up gauges and have additional gauges in my car. So right now, right here, I have a boost gauge and a wideband, and the car does have an oil pressure gauge, but there's a lot more things that you can monitor. And instead of, you know, adding more gauge pods and buying gauges and such, I can just go on my phone and look at other gauges. So, I'm sure a lot of you guys already know this. I'm, I'm sure a lot of you already do this with your OBD2 vehicles, but for those of you, you know, maybe with a 240 or a Supra or an R32 or anyone with an OBD2 vehicle, this is now possible. You can now do all this stuff with an older vehicle with the Howtech ECU. So, you know, if you want the ease of checking codes and, you know, the ease of monitoring data, like, this is one of the really good things about the Howtech ECU is that you can do that with this. You know, with the Gritty eManage Ultimate that I had in this before, it was not the best. I mean, you could monitor some things and data log, but it was not the greatest. Um, it didn't have check engine light codes and all that stuff. So this is, I think, a no-brainer 
you know, it's gonna make your life a whole lot easier. Um, so let's plug this in and I'll show you what all I can monitor with this 1988 Supra and 92 or 95 engine. Okay, so I have the ignition turned on, the engine is not on, and now I'm connecting to the Bluetooth adapter, and look at that! I actually do have some check engine light codes. Manifold absolute pressure uh, circuit high. Huh. Cylinder 5 circuit low. System, system voltage low. Uh, well... Uh, I'm just going to clear them and pray that they go away and never come back. The car was running fine, so now I'm clearing the codes on my 1988 Toyota Supra with my cell phone. How freaking cool is that? So once this is done clearing, uh, I'll show you, you know, this is the torque app. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with this. Um, this is for the pro version. It's like five bucks on the Google Play Store, or, uh, Apple Store, whatever. It is so worth it. Five bucks for the app and like ten dollars for that OBD2 adapter, and you have a high-end scan tool and gauges. So um, right now, coolant temperature. You can do GPS speed, intake temperature, and voltage. That is just freaking awesome. Bunch of monitors right there. You can check out your readiness monitors, RPMs, but there's a ton of stuff. This is what I have. I think this is what's pretty important, what I can't monitor with the car on it's the gauges that are installed on it. So voltage, intake temperature, and coolant temperature. Um, but there's a lot of other things that you can add. So let, let's add a gauge here. Let's add a, a big gauge of something. What should we monitor? I don't need to monitor air to fuel ratio because um, I already have an AFR gauge. Um, I don't have any cats so, <laughs> so that's pretty pointless. Let's do uh, let's monitor boost. Alright. realize this isn't the most exciting thing in the world there wasn't any wrenching going on in this video but I just think it's super cool that my 88 Supra is now OBD2 and I can monitor the engine and all of its parameters on my phone and basically have another set of gauges up on my cell phone holder so I hope you guys think this is cool too um, hopefully it helps some of you out um, maybe it'll steer you in a certain direction of what you might want to do with your build uh, you know, help you decide which ECU to go with. This car has the Haltec Elite 2000. Um, if you have any questions on the Haltec, I am not the guy you want to ask questions about for the Haltec. They have a really good tech support team there, so if you have questions on the Haltec, talk to them. But I will have links to all this stuff down below. Um, but yeah, now my car has OBD2. So although you do have to buy the ECU, to do this now you don't need a bunch of gauges cluttering up your car you don't need to buy you know a boost gauge you don't need to buy an oil pressure gauge all that stuff can be monitored on your phone or if you want a bigger display you could even do a tablet and have a bunch of stuff pulled up so there there's a whole lot of things that you could do with this um, but you know maybe this video opened up some doors for you or help you help helped you decide something with your build so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, check out the links down below, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.